Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. Welcome back to my channel, Extensible. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add your timer in OBS. How to add your timer in OBS. This time around, unlike my previous video, uh, where you have to use Cool Timer, which is a third party software, like another software to bring it to OBS using NDI. This time around, it's a plugin in OBS which you can download and use free of charge without using any crack version of any software, and it's actually pretty good. So without wasting much of your time, let's just go straight into it. Alright, so this is my OBS and I'm going to show you what to download the a plugin to use for this countdown timer in OBS. So first of all, you need to download this um, particular plugin that is the countdown timer for OBS version 4. They just uploaded this 7 months ago. We used to use this version 3 before from 3 years back. Alright, so I'll drop the link for this um, simple countdown timer for OBS version 4. I'll drop the link in the description of this video. So just click on the link and download this particular version instantly. Okay, so once you download it, everyone will see it as um, this is where it downloaded in version 4. Just right click on it and everyone will see um, this is it to extract it when you are. So if you don't win right, I guess it's extract all directly though. So the extract all is gonna save in the same place here. But since I already extracted it, okay, let me just extract it for you to see. Yes, extract to this. I already extracted it, so I just wanna replace all with it. Yes. So this is your simple countdown timer for version four. We enter it. I will explain what this is in this moment. Okay, so in your OBS, we're gonna to go to docs, then I'm gonna select custom browser docs what this doc is right now is we have different docs in obs we have sense here in this doc we have source this doc we have auto mixer this doc sync transition controls so we're going to add a new doc which is like a timer controller yes just like how this audio mixer is controlling the audios that are coming from your source or coming in from any other parts so for this URL, it goes straight to this URL. You have the doc. Click on the doc. Then you're going to set up like this. This is how the timer is going to be like. We copy this um, particular link. Copy. We can close. Then we go to OBS. We paste the link here. Paste and apply. So you're going to see this. You can close this. Then this is how it is. We can move it into this part. You can move it into this part. You can move it into any part you want. But I like mine being um, kind of smaller this way, then down, and this will be at the top here, yeah, like this. All right. So we have the controller now. Let's add the timer itself. So the controller will be controlling the timer. So you go to the plus sign over here. You go to the browser. You want to add a browser. So we can call this the countdown. For a countdown timer, yes, okay. So now for the URL for this browser, we go to where we um this over here where we extracted it to. We enter it, copy the timer here also, copy, go to your OBS and we paste. Yes. So now you see that it's not full screen right now. So I want to make it full screen. We know the width and the height for the full screen, nineteen twenty by 1080 then you can leave the rest as default press ok so this is your timer right now you don't want to control anything of the timer this is it here and move it to the right a little yeah so um this is it here you want to just make it maybe um zero one hour with um maybe if i'll be live in like i'll have to make it like i'm, I'm gonna come live in so 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 minutes so i'm gonna write like again 30 minutes 30 sorry for hours it should be in zero then for minutes it's gonna be in 30 minutes enter so i'm gonna live in 30 minutes right so a message before the time let's add a message before the time live in whatever live in 30 minutes that's fine way you can make a message also after live in 30 minutes um let's say c eight c Oh, okay, I'm using West African time, so W8C, West African time. So after um the time has like finished counting down, we can put a message after that starts in, starts in now. Yes. So this way, after it, it will stop, after we start it and it's counting down, it's even going to start now. So you can go to your settings. This is your fonts. If you want to change your fonts, you can enter Google Fonts or you just, you know, put any font name you want and you apply it. 
for your default you can add, add a, a gradient color you want colors you can choose which color you want this is if you want to reduce the font size you can make it start in living or stuff like that then you can put shadow if you want shadows you want the shadow depth how much of shadows you want you want a stroke with it now this is this the background is black right now so you won't really know if you add a shadow or stroke so this is for finishing touch the finishing ingredients for that finish this finish over here for the finish how the finish want would be like the gradient the size and the stuff like that so um yeah that is pretty much it and the moment you start it over here it's gonna just start starting life in then that's how it is that's how it is but also i recommend if you don't want to do this like in case you don't have a background okay let's say for instance i want to put in a background okay my background is over here in joe this is not my system actually so um it might really not be what you expect so um let's say okay i have backgrounds over here in loops yes in loops so let me say I need um this background. So let me just bring it in over here. So this is how it's gonna be like. And just reduce this first. Or instead I can just right click it, go to transform, then go to uh fit to screen. Yes. So this is it, yeah. Then if we click on this countdown timer, we can bring it down. Well, is there time if you don't want um to have this over here, it, okay. I didn't make it loop. So let us just loop in continually. So I don't want this to be full screen. So you can just hold your alt on your keyboard and move this over here. Hold your alt on your keyboard, move this over here. Hold your alt on your keyboard, move this. Your alt, move this. So it won't have to be full screen. You can click this, I can click this. Yes. So you can make it this way. Then I will put stroke, you should see your strokes. For example, let's, let me put the shadow. Then delete to the shadow. Then you should see your shadow. Okay, the shadow uh dead for like you can see the shadow over there because it's not really that's um you know yeah that is the shadow over there. It does change. Yep. Then of the shadow, you can see that's the shadow over there. So if I could stroke, if I add a stroke, you see a stroke. Yeah. So I always make it that way. A little bit of stroke. Then this is for the finishing touch. That's after I run for the finishing. But also, if we don't want all this, I just bring in a, um, a particular countdown timer you want. If you go to this website, Pixabay, you can just search for countdown. I want to see different countdown. You can choose over download that free countdown online. Anyway, you can see actually. I don't let this countdown. I don't let this countdown. So when you have a choice, actually, if you want to use a custom countdown timer, I can use that one also. So let me just bring in this for it. Going to show you different countdowns. Okay, that should be in downloads. This is one. This is two. Then just bring them to OBS. Bring this two down. Yep. So if I'm to minus this over here, you should see this. Okay, no, like no, I mean minus this. So you should see this. Yeah, then I can just hold my alts and reduce it. Reduce it. Or you can use um, your comma key or your lunar key to remove this particular block. That is in your properties or your filters. You can effect filters. Then use color key. Left. Okay. Then you see it and it's just right right now. So if you want this, okay, yeah, then you can zoom in, zoom in, depending on your background. So this is counting down, or you don't want this also, you can use this. I think I have this which is over here, I think. Okay, it's not looped. I guess that's pretty finished. There's a loop. I have this, yes. So, you can have this, which will be constant down for you and stuff. You can add different type of countdown in your OBS. Okay, so that is how you add your timer in OBS. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, share to your loved ones, your family, to friends. Um, if you want to join this amazing family where we post tips on streaming, we help you with your streaming gig and everything. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. 
join this amazing family you can also join uh, my membership offers then you can have access to different uh, benefits like benefits like um assessing my whatsapp group chat you can have access to my whatsapp group chat you can join my whatsapp group chat which is the community where we help people in the media world you can also have access to exclusive um videos on google drive link because it's not all videos i post here that youtube allows me to post so i just save them in google drive link give them access to exclusive people only it's just a way of supporting me actually so thank you very much once again my name again joseph olasu this is extensive all.